Do you mean? How was your weekend? It was good. Hey teacher, good evening. Hello, Carlos. Well, Carl, you, Carlos, you are very advanced on the platform, right? You are in section five. Mm, yes, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Great. Uh, por el, el examen también, pero me faltan algunas. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Hey, Alex. How are you? Hey, hello. Good evening, everyone. How was your weekend? Did you go for a party for, for the restaurant? What was the meal? Uh, no, nothing. No. At home. Nothing At special. Home. Okay. Nothing special. Only eat. Regular. <laughs> no regular. All food. <laughs> okay. Only food. No drinks at all. Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> until not until not day Friday. Pay. Until Friday. I, I, I'm waiting to pay for that. Yes, Friday will be a great day because it's a day off. Okay, it's a holiday, a national holiday here in El Salvador, and because it's payday. Okay, Anna Yulisa, where are you? Not here. Carlos David. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, so be ready. Yes, Claudia teacher. Margarita. Carlos David, present teacher. Yes, Carlos. Claudia, Margarita. Concepción de Lourdes. Present, present. Okay. I'm here. Dalila Cristina. Present teacher. Excellent. Elena Marisol. Present teacher. Great. Aileen, Lorena. Okay. Idalia, Margarita. Present teacher. Excellent. Ileana, Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Ingrid, Morena. Present teacher. Okay. Jefferson, Alexis. Present teacher. Excellent. Good vibes. Jenny Hakane. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Jose Carpio. Liliana Dolores. Luis Alejandro. Luis Josué. Manuel Fernando. No, here. Surely he's playing. Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Okay. Marjorie Marilyn. I'm here. Excellent. Olga, Liz, Olga Lisette. Present, Miss. Great. Rina Margarita. Present, 
Rina, no. Telma y Amilet. Present teacher. Ok. Verónica, Alicet. Chique tiempo. Verónica, no. En Vilma, ID. Present teacher. Ok. Ay, ahora vi Verónica. Sure. Yes. Present. Ahí está. Yes. Ahorita la puse. Ok, Rina Margarita, no. Ok, so today we're going to start section four. And also you have to start working on section four on your platform. Ok, remember. Okay, we were talking about ordering food and now in section four. Okay, the name of the section is the biggest and the best. Okay, the biggest and the best. Okay, Claudia, Margarita. Claudia. Okay. the biggest and the best. We have words related to geography. Okay. I may be in trouble. Here we have beach, desert. Okay, este es diferente al desert, al que acabamos de ver en el menu. Okay, es diferente de pronunciation. Okay, most, uh, más que todo, más que nada. Okay, dessert is the postre. And dessert with the stress syllable at the end is the place. Okay, a dessert is a place in which, uh, in which there are no trees, there is full of sand, the sun is very, very hot. Okay, that's a desert. And we have a dessert, dessert. Okay, so that's the difference between, it's similar, but the pronunciation is different. And we sí, have the forest, yes? Se escribe igual. Yes. La pronunciación es la que cambia. Yes. Gracias. Postre lleva doble S, ¿sí? Doble S. Mm. Ah, yes. Está. Would you like a dessert? Okay. Mm -hmm. With double S. And dessert only one. But the main difference is the intonation or the stress syllable. And then we have hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, and waterfall. And uh, here we have some illustrations related to those places. Okay, for example, beach with its letter 
A, que es la que tenemos acá, uh, at the back, okay? In the back of, of the picture, okay? That's the beach, okay, the beach. You can sail there, okay? You can swim there on the beach. Then we have letter B, desert. What do you think could be? Letter B. In between cactus. Okay, in muy bien. In between cactus. Yes, between the cactus. B. The forest. Okay, the forest is a place. It's a place which is full of trees and animals. Forest. Donde se fue a esconder Snow White de la madrastra, ah, no, de la reina. The forest. No idea. Yes. Bosque. Ay. Uh, B. Hill is this one. It's smaller. It's smaller than a mountain. Then we have island. Okay, the island. What is the island? Island is a small space of land. Surrounded by water. In the middle Isla. of the lake, maybe? Yes, in the middle, correct. So this will be E. Oh, no. No, no. Okay. Letter F, lake, S C. This is the lake. Okay. Mountain, which is the difference with lava or with no lava? With no lava. Okay. Ocean, far, far away, right? Like inside the beach okay if you enter or if you pass the beach then uh, is the ocean okay this will be h i the river okay what is the river uh, this one, right? Yes. Okay. I. Bali. Okay. Bali is a place on. I don't know. Geography is not my strong subject. Bali. Volcano. Okay, I know the meaning in Spanish, but I know how how make the difference between a valley and I don't remember if the valley is between the mountains or is under. El valle. Yes. Pero, o sea, cómo es geográficamente hablando. It's plain, or it's between the hills, or it's on the top of a mountain. In plain, between creo. The, between the hills. Between the hills. Between a hill and volcano. Okay, so here, this one. Yes, right. No, this will be the volcano. This will be J. What 
cuál nos hace falta? Down the Quiero ver. Vale. ¿Dónde hay otro círculo? Between B and Water, A. Uy. Waterfall. Waterfall, ajá. Y el yes, volcano. El, en volcano, ok. En el volcano es K. Ah, entonces eso sería K. Vaya, pero ¿dónde nos quedaría el espacio para el Bali? No, no, eh, ahí arribita, ahí está la, la, la ah, rueda blanca. Ah, yeah. Ahí mismo. Yes, justo yes, ahí, yes. justo, justo ahí. Y dice, so this is the volcano. And this is the valley. Okay. So the valley is between the mountains, right? Geo geograph uh, related with geography. Okay. Okay, it's clear. Okay, let's check pronunciation. Okay, Lourdes, yeah. pronunciation. A. B. Okay. Mm -hmm. B, Alex. Desert. Okay. C, Juan Carlos. Forest. Okay. D, Vilma. Hill. Hill. Y Margarita. Eh, Island. 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 Sin la S. Ahí uh, disappear. Island. Island. Uh, Island. Island. Ok, Verónica F. Lake. 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 Sí, porque el like, dale like, like. Ok, number. Ya vino Manuel. Manuel, are you here? Letter, letter yes. G. Manuel, yeah. letter G is for you. Is mountain. Ok. Letter H, Marjorie. River. H. H. Ocean. 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 Okay. Claudia, letter I. River. Okay. J. Liliana. Vale. Okay. Vale. And Julissa K. Volcano. Yeah. Okay, volcano. Yeah. And Carlos David, letter L. Waterfall. Waterfall, yes. Okay, let's continue. Okay, what other, other geography words can you think of? No, we don't want to think about geography anymore. So let's move to the conversation. Which is larger? Which is larger? Okay. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Okay, sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? Okay, I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. 
what's the longest river in America, in the Americas? Um, I think it's the Mississippi. Okay, here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? Okay, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the high, the highest. Okay, questions about vocabulary words? Um, what is the pronunciation? Broad, broad? I don't know. Crowded. Oh, Esa? Crowded. Esa? Yes. Okay, crowded. And the last, last, uh, highest. Highest. Okay, thank you. Okay, geography. Okay, ready? Ready to practice? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's start with... Maria Magdalena and Jenny. Okay, teacher. Inicio yo, teacher, o... Oh. Yes. Okay. Here are photographed quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geographic. Ask me the question. Sure. Fair question. Which country are large? China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. China. Okay. Okay, next, what's the longer river in the Americas? Mm, I think is the Mississippi. Here, a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I am not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more with some American capital city is the High Hertz, La Paz. Como, teacher? High, 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 High Hertz. Ah, high Hertz. La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, thanks, easy. Bogota is the High Hertz. High Hertz. High Hertz. High Hertz. Okay. Uh, remember China? Okay, China. Um, crowded, crowded. Mm. Larger as well. Lar larger, okay, larger. Larger. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. Manuel and Carlos. Ok. Eh, voy a iniciar. Here, here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. Here's questions. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, uh, Monaco and Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the high heads? 
La Paz, Quito, or Bogotá? Oh, that's easy. Bogotá is the highest. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Que longest, longest, que longest. Muy bien. And let's take a look on the platform. Okay, practice, practice the fluency also, okay? Okay, here we have the vocabulary, and then we have the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay. Yes, it's clear. Better understanding. Dots. No? Okay, so let's continue with the uh, only let's check the vocabulary here. Welcome to it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Desert. Forest. Hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay, so here the most difficult is mountain. Okay, because you have to drop some letters or some sounds. Okay, and island also, okay, island. You have to drop the S. You don't have to say it. Hill, island, desert, forest, hill. Island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay. And then we have the comparison with adjectives. Okay, so let's take a look of that part. This is the conversation and then we have the grammar. Okay, comparison with adjectives. Que ya habíamos visto lo que era un adjective. Okay, remember adjectives will describe Adjectives will add information of something or will say how is something. Could be um, people, could be objects, could be places, okay? Could be any noun, okay? You are going to combine adjectives with noun. And you could, you could say 
positive things or you could say negative things about that person, that place, that object, ok. Sí, ese era como el review de lo que es un adjective. Yes, vimos la posición también de los adjetivos en donde tienen que ir. And today we are going to use adjectives to compare. Okay, we can we can make comparison in two ways. Okay, comparing. Okay, to compare, you need to say or compare, valga la redundancia, two things. For example, you are going to compare your doll with the doll of your neighbor, for example. So you are going to compare the two dogs. So you need two to make a comparison, okay? To use an adjective in a comparative form, you need two. But when you use the superlative form of the adjective, okay, for the superlative, you are saying that um, someone or something or a place is more than the others, okay? It's better than the rest, okay? It's like the number one is the one on the top, okay? Ese es un superlativo. Okay, you have a lot of difference among others. Yes, that's the difference between comparative and superlative. You are going to use comparative only for two things, okay? I can compare, okay, I can compare this candy and this candy, okay? Only two things. But if I'm going to use a superlative, okay, I need or I have more than two. I don't have only two things to compare. I need more. I need a group. And I'm going to say that someone in the group is bigger than the other ones. Okay, is better than the other ones. Or is, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to say. Pero resalta del, del grupo. Okay, it's not the same. Es destaca, ya sea para bien o para mal, como positivo o negativo. Yes, it's clear la diferencia entre comparativos y superlativos. ¿Cuándo los vamos a usar? El superlativo cuando algo sobresalga de... Del resto. Yes, de un grupo, de varios. Ok, ¿y el comparativo? Cuando queramos compararlos entre sí. ¿Cuántos Cuando podemos comparar? Podemos decir, es más grande que el otro, o es más... Un, gra un grado más de, del adjetivo. Mm. Pero, ¿cuántos objetos puedo comparar? If I use the comparative form. Dos, dos objetos. Two, yes. Two, two objects. You need to have two. Muy bien, veamos los ejemplos. Um, which country is larger? Que okay, ahí estamos usando com comparativa. Que okay, larger. Canadá. Or China, okay, you have two options, okay, only two options, Canada or China, that's it, okay, so you can pick or select one of the options to say your answer, okay, Canada is larger than China, okay, y luego tenemos which city para los superlatives has 
the largest, the largest population. Que okay, ahí tenemos ya varios. Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo. Okay, the largest. De todos los que tenemos ahí, ¿cuáles tienen la población más grande? Que okay, Tokyo has the largest population of the three. Entonces aquí ya no solo puedo, ya no solo estoy hablando de dos, sino estoy hablando more than two. Okay, más que todo a group. And what is the most beautiful mom? mountain in the world. I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Muy bien, ahora vamos a ver las reglas para cambiar el adjetivo. Vaya, al menos el uso está claro. Yes, teacher. Okay. Comparativo to Oyes, uh, superlati, um, more, than, more than two or groups. Yes, correct. Vaya, muy bien, entonces. Teacher. Yeah. Yes. And in the example for famous, the, they, they are uh, exceptions. Yes, when, correct. When we use more in... It, this is uh, the the word, the different word. Yes. Of the other. The most. Muy bien. Entonces, para, more. Tenemos more and the most. Ahorita vamos a ver eso. Muy bien. Tenemos comparatives. Muy bien. La cómo vamos. ¿Cómo va a ser la estructura de los comparatives? Que okay, we have thing number one. Okay, verb to be. Okay, for, um, plus adjective. Las... Vamos a agregar, cuando estamos comparando, vamos a agregar ER. Adjective plus ER. Dan. Y luego vamos a poner thing number two. Vaya, esa sería la estructura. Ahora veamos el ejemplo. Que my, my mom is small is the adjective. My mom is small. Pero como yo la voy a comparar con su mamá, okay, my mom is smaller than y usamos possessive, yours. O, si no quiero usar el possessive, than your mom. ¿Ok? Cualquiera de las dos formas estaría bien. Ok, Alex, give me one example, another example of comparative. Alex. My dog. Okay. Is bigger. Okay. Now, it puede ser. My dog is the the biggest. No, estamos, ahorita estamos con comparativo. Comparativo, oh. comparativo. Okay. Ahorita vamos solo my con ER. Is, is bigger than than your dog. Okay. Than yours, la vamos a dejar aquí. Muy bien, eso sería para, para comparativos. Luego, hay unas reglas para sufijos. Este tema lleva varias cosas. Entonces, 
Vaya, vamos a ver ahora los comparativos y mañana vamos a ver los superlativos. Okay, uh, there are some rules that you have to follow when you add the uh, ER. Ay. So. Okay, entonces dijimos que vamos a agregar este ER, pero tenemos algunas reglas cuando lo vamos a, a, a añadir. Algunos cambios que se tienen que hacer. Entonces, por ejemplo, en este caso que Alex me dijo el adjetivo big, okay, tuvimos que doblar la última consonante antes de añadir ER. Entonces, si mi, bueno, esta estructura la vamos a utilizar only with adjectives that have only one or two syllables. ¿Okay? ¿Se acuerdan que aprendimos a contar las sílabas? ¿Verdad? Like big, small. ¿Okay? They only have one syllable. Entonces, en este caso, si el adjetivo tiene hasta tu syllables, yo puedo añadir ER. Pero, así como el otro ejemplo que me decía Alex de beautiful. Ok. De rose is more beautiful than the tulip. Okay, for example, I, I don't think it's true, but it's only an example. Okay, let's count the syllables for beautiful. Beautiful. It has three syllables. Entonces aquí yo ya no puedo decir the rose is beautiful there que ya no le puedo agregar ER porque ya tiene three syllables entonces en lugar de agregar ER que yo voy a agregar more y siempre si se fijan voy a poner el done esta es parte del comparativo esta palabra siempre va en los comparativos Okay, the rose is more beautiful than, porque eso nos da la introducción al otro objeto con el que estamos comparando. Okay, my dog is bigger than yours. My mom is smaller than your mom. Okay, veamos otro ejemplo. Ah, creo que por acá teníamos otros ejemplos y adjectives. Okay, eso es, yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I know clear that my dog is bigger than yours. Uh, ¿Por qué se le agregó la, la otra sílaba? Son, es, son reglas del inglés, reglas de escritura. Entonces, si el adjetivo es un adjetivo de one syllable, tiene solo one vowel, y termina solo en one consonant, entonces tenemos que doblar la última consonant. Que ¿Okay? si es, si tiene, vaya, la regla es tiene una sílaba, una vocal y una consonante. Ok, entonces tengo que doblar la última consonante antes de añadir el ER, el suffix. Que okay? the suffix ER. Esa es. Rule, es regla. Así se lo han inventado los gringos. Ok, thank you. Ok, y hay otras reglas. Solamente quería ver si las tenemos acá. Ok, yes. Vaya, por ejemplo, tenemos long. Long tiene one syllable 
tiene one vowel, pero al final tiene two consonants. Entonces ahí ya no aplica la regla, ya no necesito duplicar. Si ven el comparativo, que longer. Entonces ahí no está duplicada la G, porque tiene two consonants at the end, al final, después de la vowel. ¿Ok? Entonces, long, longer. Luego, si mi adjective termina en y, ¿ok? I need to change the y for an i. And then, you can add the er, the suffix. ¿Ok? Dry, cambio la y por una i, y luego agrego er. ¿Ok? Big, que es el ejemplo que ya habíamos visto, una vowel, una consonant, entonces tengo que double the last consonant. Ok, famous. Fe, famous. Ok, it has two syllables, but it's longer. So you have to write more. More famous. More beautiful. Y tenemos algunas excepciones que son diferentes. No vamos a decir, eh, I am gooder than you. Okay? No se dice gooder, sino que se dice, I am better. I am better. Para la forma comparativa. Y para bad, o sea, no vamos a decir bother, sino que vamos a decir worse. Okay? This is the worst restaurant. Ah, oh, no. Esa sería la siguiente. Eh, worse. My house is worse than your house. Ok. Esas serían como excepciones. Donde no van a seguir la regla. Y esas serían como las reglas para añadir los suffix. No sé si esa parte está clara. Si termina en Y, la cambio por por your I I I I and then add the ER yes si termina en I el adjective entonces si termina en I no voy a agregar otra I sino que voy a dejar la que tiene el adjective y solo voy a añadir la R. Ok, por ejemplo, bueno, pero si termina en E, no voy a poner doble E por cuando agregue el ER, sino que solamente voy a añadir la R. Ok, yes. Yes, Aileen. You have questions, Aileen. I, I have a question. Uh, in the case the verb um, uh, adjective clouded, uh, sería el ejemplo de more clouded. Yes. Clouded. Okay. Okay. Tiene two syllables, pero es que hay algunos que ya están como como pre ¿Pre qué? Como que ya están así, que esa es la forma. Como prediseñados en que se van a usar de esa manera. Que ¿Okay? aunque digamos tenga solo dos sílabas. Ah, ok. Ok, Aileen. Good. Ok, now it's your turn to give me examples. No more questions. Hable ahora o calle para siempre. Mi teacher. Ok, Marjorie. Eh, yo en la plataforma tengo problemas con, eh, empezando la, la, la de la 4, la palabra crowded. Crowded, ajá. Uh -huh. ah, eh, le he puesto de mil maneras, pero no se va, me, estoy mal y quisiera saber cómo es que se tiene que poner si no... no no, no, la verdad no le hay cómo, cómo ponerle la, 
las la otras sí, pero esa no hay cómo ponerle. Me ¿Eh? sale mal de todas las maneras que la he puesto. Le, o sea, le he puesto, le he puesto las dos de juntas, le he quitado una D, le he agregado y no, 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 no le, no me sale mal, no me sale bien, perdón. No, no le hay. Vaya, vaya, veamos, ahorita. Muy bien, nos da, esto sería, ¿verdad? Este eh, ejercicio. Sí. Vale. Entonces, nos da el adjective y nosotros dice que... Uh, comparative. Uh, hasta el 6. Vamos a hacer que es hasta el que hemos visto. Which country is... ¿Qué okay, comparativo de small? Smaller. Smaller. Hasta ahí. ¿Algo de falta? Ah, no. En este caso, es un, it's a question. No, hasta ahí. Estamos bien. Question. Que, which country is smaller? Que Mónaco o Vatican City? Que, which waterfall is? Tiger. 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 Niagara Falls or Angel Falls. Number three. Which city is the most crowded? More crowded. Mm -hmm. More crowded. Así lo puso. Yes. yes, con Porque more. Se ha dividido por dos sílabas, ¿verdad? ¿no? Proud. Yeah. Sí, pero es lo que les decía. A veces hay algunas palabras o frases que ya están como predeterminadas, que no van a seguir la regla general. Y esa es una de ellas. Y veíamos también otro ejemplo por ahí, que aunque solo tienen dos sílabas, pero se va a usar con more, ok, more crowded. And which lake is, tenemos large. Large, large. Large. Larger. Larger. Ah, este sería el ejemplo de que como termina con mm -hmm. large, yo no voy a agregar otra vez ER, ¿ok? Sino que solamente voy a agregar la R, larger. Y vamos con famous. Which place is more famous? More famous. More famous. Tai Tai Mahal or the Great Wall of China. Ok, y hasta ahí llegarían de comparatives. Vamos a darle submit para ver. Ya sabemos que esto no va a hacer. Ok, pero sí, así sería. More crowded, more crowded. Así ya, sí. ya, ya la probó así. No, así no lo había puesto, siempre le cambiaba al crowded. Mm, crowder con R. Ok. Muy bien, entonces, we have five minutes to make the examples. Solamente con comparatives, ahorita. Only with comparatives. Write two sentences. Cinco minutos es, is enough. To write two sentences, uno con adjetivo de ER y otro utilizando more, o sea, con un adjetivo más largo. Uno con adjetivo corto y otro con adjetivo largo. Two examples. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry up. Type. Mándenme los juntos para revisárselo de una sola vez.
en lo que están pensando voy a aprovechar a pasar lista a los que, por si hay alguien que no, que me hizo falta. Um, I'm teacher. Juan José. No. Li... Liliana Dolores. Tampoco. Present. Ok. Ok. Luis Alejandro. No. Luis Josué. A la una, a las dos, a las tres. No. Um, Manuel Fernando. Right here. Late. Because you were playing, I know. No, I haven't played. We're going to play after the class. After the class, oh my god. Yeah. Instead of work on the platform. Rina Margarita. Present teacher. Okay. So that's it. Alguien que se me haya quedado. Ok, veamos. Ah, Leo Cesar is tastier than Pizza Hut. I disagree, but ok. iPhones are more expensive than Samsung. Yes, excellent, Elena. Good examples. Ok, Margarita dice, my house is smaller Ah, then my sister's house. Okay. My TV is bigger than your TV. Como que somos niños chiquitos, pa. No, yo, yo tengo aquí. No, pero yo tengo acá. My car is more beautiful than yours. Yours. Possessive. The soccer is better than video games. Ok. Uh, ajá. The dance is more complicated than sing. Sería sin el de. Dance is more complicated than the one. My mom is more beautiful than your mom. My sister is bigger than your sister. Okay. Uh, my cat is older than... Vaya, aquí tienen que, que tener cuidado con los possessive. Okay, Dalila. Porque si yo digo, my cat is older than you, es como, o sea, mi, cat, mi gato está más viejo que vos. O sea, así le está diciendo. Que es diferente a decir, my cat, it's older than yours. O it's older than your cat. Ok, si no es un significado completamente diferente. She's more beautiful than you. Ok. Studying it's, is better than sleeping. Hmm. Ok, I disagree also. <laughs> Subaru is better than Honda. My white doll is better than the black doll. Okay. Shakira, okay, is more famous than Selena Gomez. Yes. The bicycle is slower than the car. Henry Cavill is more attractive and hot and strong Dan Jim Carrey, yes, strongly agree. 
Dalila Cristina, vamos a ver, my sister is younger than yours. Eh, I have my, eh, aquí sería, Julissa, my hair is longer, siempre, quiero ver, no, le faltó usar, ah no, ahí está, done. My hair is longer than my sister's hair. Okay, playing video games is better than go for a walk. <laughs> okay, Fernando. I'm all a, but only if it is a, a Wii, yes, a Nintendo Wii, in which you, you need to move. Is that one the correct? Video game, you mean? Yes. No, I have PlayStation. No, but in the PlayStation, you don't need to move or be a stand. You can be sit down and playing. But with the Nintendo Wii, I think it's the Wii, you need to do the movements ah, and yeah. move around. Yeah, but I don't like uh, Wii, not Xbox. I don't like. Okay. And my soccer is harder. My work, uh, my my work is harder than yours. Soccer is more interesting than basketball. Okay, yes. My hair is longer than my sister's hair. My car is more beautiful than yours. Eric is taller than his brother. Excellent, Alex. Right. Muy bien. So I think it's clear. Mañana vamos a ver los superlatives, los superlativos, ¿ok? Ahorita solo vimos comparatives. And tomorrow superlatives, so don't miss the class, please. And start working on the platform. Ok, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Good bye. Night. See you bye tomorrow. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teachers. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you.